Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the continuation of learning sheet 17 of Kalika Chetrika for class 8 standard mathematics. So here the concept of integer basic operation on rational number we are going to study now. So today the main today the main concept is rational number so let us see what are rational number okay so here just they have told the recall the definition so we all know that rational numbers are in the form of p by q so and q is any integers and q should not be equal to zero this is the just definition of rational number so here it is shown here rational numbers contains integers whole numbers and natural numbers so in the box it is also given that the rational numbers includes natural number whole numbers and integers okay so let us quickly see what is given here this is the exact definition the rational number are in the form of p by q p and q be any integer and q not equal to 0 so it is the symbolic form q is equals to any rational number any fraction form number with a positive and negative sign where p and q belongs to z that is integers q should not be equal to 0 let us see the next page it is nothing but properties of rational number here the properties of rational number it is given we all know that the symbol for rational number is nothing but q now anyhow it is the same properties in previous for integers whole numbers and all we have learned closure property commutative property here commutative closure property is closed under addition on rational number and closed under subtraction as well as multiplication but not closed under division so uh, let us see what about commutative property commutative property is under addition not commutative not commutative under subtraction and commutative under multiplication not commutative under division so even associative property let us see associative property under addition not associative under subtraction as uh, and again associative under multiplication not associative under division here identity element is same that is a plus 0 is equals to 0 plus a is the same number and identity element for uh, addition is 0 and identity element for multiplication is again 1 so inverse element inverse element of addition is nothing but 0 only and inverse element of multiplication is 1 it is again the same process okay so last one is distributive property and we know that a plus c a plus b into c is equals to a c plus bc let us solve the properties here the main important thing we have to solve the properties let us here the worksheet that was the worksheet 17 now here worksheet 18 here the main concept discuss the properties of rational number and taking some example so we all know that closure property is nothing but i'll just small i'll write a star b is equals to c let we will take it is a rational number right so we will take some p by q form numbers 2 by 3 and i'll take 2 by 5 and 4 by 5 i have taken let I'll properly take like what is a value what is b value let a is equals to 2 by 5 and b is equals to 4 by 5 okay I've taken a and b value so here space is very small so I have to complete here how I'll do see this is for addition okay 2, 4, 2 by 5 plus 4 by 5 what we get answer is 4 plus 2 denominator same now 4 5 6 by 5 and 6 by 5 is also belongs to q it is also what it is also a rational number so what we can say closure property hold good 
under addition for rational number let us see subtraction 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 so we can see here 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 2 minus 4 is minus 2 by 5 it is also belongs to a rational number because negative and positive numbers are the rational number so it is also belongs to a rational number so what we can say even subtraction close closure property close under subtraction for rational number let us go for multiplication multiplication 2 by 5 into 4 by 5 so i can write here 4 to the 8 5 5 is a 25 this 8 by 25 is also a rational number so belongs to q so again the same thing we can say closure property is closed under multiplication now division it will not so let me write 2 divide 5 2 by 5 divide by 4 by 5 is equals to 4 it will be some different numbers only in decimal form numbers which is not belong to q we will get decimal numbers and decimal numbers doesn't come in rational number so it is does not belongs to rational number so not closed under division let us see about the commutative property we know that commutative property is a plus b is equals to b plus a for addition a star b any for addition plus for multiplication uh, multiply sign okay first let me see for addition okay what we will write for addition same numbers i will take 2 by 5 plus 4 by 5 is equals to 4 by 5 plus 2 by 5 so the answer will be one and same this side i'll write answer 4 plus 2 6 by 5 is equals to 4 plus 2 6 by 5 so what we can say answer is close commutative it is commutative under it is commutative under addition let us see subtraction now 2 minus 4 by 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 is equals to 4 by 5 minus 2 by 5 okay now ans both answers should be equal the LHS and RHS should be equal 2 by 5 2 minus 4 is minus 2 by 5 okay and 4 minus 2 is 2 by 5 so minus 2 by 5 and 2 by 5 are different so they are not equal so what we can say commutative property is not closed under or we can say about commutative property does not satisfy subtraction on rational number okay it is not commutative in a very simple way what we can say it is not commutative for subtraction on rational number let us see multiplication now okay a into b a is 2 by 5 into b 4 by 5 is equals to 4 by b into a so answer is 4 to the 8 by 5 5 is a 25 this side also 4 to the 8 by 25 so both answer lhs is equals to rhs so we can say that commutative for multiplication on rational number it is commutative for multiplication on rational number and the last one is division again it is not commutative because we know that again we will get decimal answers both side okay so which is not equal so what we can say it is not commutative under division on rational number because we know that if we divide this we will get decimal numbers so it is not commutative for division on rational numbers okay let us see associative property siri this associative property this space is very small let us take any rough paper to solve this associative property okay i'll do here only i'll take one rough paper i'll take numbers we have taken what we have taken a is equals to 
let a is equals to we have taken 2 by 5 and b is equals to 4 by 5 i'll take c is equals to 6 by 5 okay three numbers we have taken now what we can do is we will start first closure uh, sorry associative property general form associative property general form is a star b we have already i have already written for the previous problems also like in whole number integers and all is equals to what a star b star c okay let us start for first addition addition a is 2 by 5 plus b 4 by 5 plus c 6 by 5 is equals to a 2 by 5 plus b 4 by 5 plus c is 6 by 5. Let us see now LHS and LHS answer is equals to RHS if we get we can say that it is associative for addition okay for rational number 4 plus 2 6 6 by 5 plus here 6 by 5 as it is this 2 by 5 as it is plus 6 plus 4 10 by 5 now 6 plus 6 12 12 by 5 is equals to 10 plus 2 12 12 by 5 so they are equal both LHS and RHS are equal so we can say that it is associative under addition on rational number okay next let us go for subtraction same thing I'll write 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 minus 6 by 5 is equals to 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 minus 6 by 5 let us see whether it is associative or not okay 2 by 5 minus 4 by 5 is minus 2 by 5 minus 6 by 5 as it is this 2 by 5 as it is minus sign as it is 4 minus 6 is minus 2 by 5 okay now minus minus is we have to do plus correct so minus 8 by 5 we got this side what we got 2 plus 2 minus minus plus 4 by 5 so they are completely different so what we can say it is not associative under subtraction on rational numbers so let us see now what happens with multiplication a a is 2 by 5 into b 4 by 5 into c that is 6 by 5 is equals to a 2 by 5 into bracket b 4 by 5 into 6 by 5 okay so let us solve 4 2 is a 8 5 5 is a 25 into 6 as it is 5 as it is is equals to 2 by 5 as it is into 6 4 is a 24 upon 5 5 is a 25 okay now let us see 8 6 is a 48 8 6 is a 48 48 upon 5 5 is a 25 5 to the 10 12 125 25 5 is a 125 so now here we can see 24 into 2 2 4 is a 8 2 to the 4 48 only and 525 is a 125 so we can see that we got the same answer here so LHS is equals to RHS so we can say what we can say that associative under multiplication on rational number let us see now division and we already know that it will not divide because we will get decimal numbers again so directly I'll write it is not close under division so 4 by 5 divided by 6 by 5 they are not equal here so we can say that associative property is not closed under division on rational number okay so we finished associative property let us see now what is identity property we know that identity property we have for addition and for multiplication so for identity property for addition is a plus 0 is equals to 0 plus a we get a only and for multiplication a into 1 is equals to 1 into a 
is equals to we get a only so let us take a as some fraction for example i'll take 3 by 4 3 by 4 plus 0 is equals to 0 plus 3 by 4 we get 0 any number added with 0 we get the same number right so answer is 3 by 4 only correct so identity property for addition is 0 which is the identity element 0 and same way I'll take 3 by 4 into 1 is equals to 1 into 3 by 4 same any number multiply by uh, 1 is the same number so identity element for multiplication is 1 so we will get same 3 by 4 this is about the identity property next we will see inverse property here now inverse property we all know that inverse property is a plus minus a should be equal to minus a plus a and we get 0 so let us take some number like 3 uh, 2 by 7 okay 2 by 7 plus minus 2 by 7 is equals to minus 2 by 7 plus 2 by 7 we know that one positive one negative number is always 0 so one positive one negative number minus 2 by 7 plus 2 by 7 is answer 0 it is nothing but inverse property for addition so inverse property for addition is 0 let us see about same thing with the multiplication 2 by 7 into a 2 by 7 into 1 upon 2 by 7 is equals to 1 upon 2 by 7 into 2 by 7 so 2 by 7 2 by 7 get cancelled here also 2 by 7 2 by 7 get cancelled so answer will be 1 so this is about the inverse property of multiplication so very important thing to remember here identity additive identity is 0 multiplicative identity is 1 and additive inverse is 0 and multiplicative inverse is 1 this is very important to remember now let us see distributive property we know that distributive property a plus b into c is nothing but a into c plus b into c this we have to prove let us try to prove here only we get or we we'll, let us see the place what alphabets we have taken for associative we'll take the same numbers okay uh, like a place i'll write um 2 by 5 b place i'll write 4 by 5 and c place it was like 6 by 5 okay is equals to a 2 by 5 into b into c 6 by 5 is equal to b is 4 by 5 into c is 6 by 5 let us check plus sign it is we should get lhs is equals to rhs okay what we will do denominator is same so 4 plus 2 is 6 by 5 here bracket is nothing but 6 by 5 as it is okay now 6 to the 12 5 5 is a 25 correct plus 6 4 is a 24 6 4 is a 24 upon 5 5 is a 25 correct now 6 6 is a 36 upon 5 5 is a 25 we can see here the denominator is same we will write 25 one time and 24 plus 12 is nothing but 36 we can see we got lhs is equals to rhs so we can see we can conclude that uh, under associative property distributive uh, distributive under addition on rational number so distributive property satisfied the uh, rational number under addition so this completes the learning sheet 18 so in today's video we had completed learning sheet 17 and 18 so in my next video uh, i am going to start with the learning sheet 19 do like and share and subscribe my channel thank you